Property investing has always been such an exclusive investment opportunity or investment asset for a lot of good investors. And property investing has also been the OG of just great return on your investment and good passive income. But the big issue is money, having enough money to actually get into investing. Now, Easy Properties have changed that. Go watch this video over here to where I explain how Easy Properties does this. But in this video, I'll be going over how to activate Easy Properties on your Easy Equities account because you can't use Easy Properties without the Easy Equities account, which is just good investing practices. But in any case, so, and then I'll also be going over the layout, looking at where everything is. Then in a follow-up video, we'll be to looking at how I look at companies on Easy Properties, what I look at to invest in, and how do you actually invest? And also a little example. But let's get into this video over here. Okay, so to activate your Easy Properties account, you need to log in to your Easy Equities account. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to the top right tab of your Easy Equities, where the little icon is. And over there, you're gonna go to Account Management. You're gonna click over there, and under Account Management, you'll see they give you various options. Now, what you wanna do is, you wanna go to Activate New Accounts. And under activate new accounts, you'll be able to choose whatever account you actually want to add. But in this case, we want to add easy properties. Now I've already added and you can see it, it was added onto this ribbon here at the top. But what you will do is here where easy equity or um, RA is, you will see easy properties or if you just scroll down, you'll probably see it further down. But all you'll do is you'll say I hereby confirm, you click on activate account and it's as easy as that. Okay. And then once all your things are set up, you might have to fill in some info. Just follow the steps, one, two, three, and then you are in to easy properties and you can get into investing into properties. Once you are all set up, you can go ahead and click on your easy properties or platform. You'll see they say there's an option to take me to my properties. You're gonna click there and it's gonna take you to the easy properties tab. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna log in to your Alrighty, so once you're logged in, what you're going to see is you're going to see your dashboard. Now, um, as you can see, I've already invested in to some of the properties, so it's quite nice. It'll give you this pie chart and it'll explain to you exactly how much you've invested into each property. Um, it'll give you the breakdown percentage. And over here, just above, your, you'll see the latest valuation, um, the unrealized valuation gain, which is pretty much just the, the capital growth on your, on your uh, properties. Um, your realized capital gain is what you pretty much that that will only come into effect like after a year or whatever or once you've sold and then your total rental dividend received that is the amount of money you have received back from your investments and then um, if you scroll further down you'll see more of a profit and loss account a total cost your net accruals um, your funds to invest that you ha have and account options where you can either say fund this account, withdraw money into account transfer. Me personally, I funded this account from my Easy Equities account doing the inter-account FX transfer. I just find that way easier, but it's pretty much the same as Easy Equ Equities. You can do whatever you want. Um, and then, yeah, yeah, at the bottom, it's pretty much the same setup as Easy Equities. You'll see all your properties you've invested in, They'll give you, for instance, your purchase value, the value at which, at which you purchased your shares, your rental dividend yield. So that's that's based on what you've made thus far. So for instance, um, you'll see this is quite low still because I've only received one quarter's worth of dividends for it. Your valuation gain and loss and obviously your current value considering all of those things you've received. Okay. So then here at the top, you'll click on browse properties. Here you'll see all the properties available. Um, at the moment of this recording, this is a new listing. Um, so pretty much what will happen is every now and then they'll add new properties and you'll find them here. And what you'll do is you'll, you'll go and look at all this info, which I'll handle in the next video as to exactly what everything is. But the, the most important thing at the moment is to just know where everything is. So this funding target, that is pretty much the value 
of what easy properties have bought these properties for so whether it be six unit five units four units that is the total value of what easy Pro properties have in this particular property at the bottom you'll see this bar where it says at the moment 54.54 percent funded what that means is uh, a property will not be successfully funded if it doesn't reach at least under 100 percent because what easy properties evidently does is they put in an offer they say we can match this if we don't we're not going to buy the properties um, so pretty much what it is is you need to hope that your property reaches 100 percent so that means that your payments will actually get processed and you will be invested into this property. Now you will see here on the right, some of them are more than 100% funded. And all that means is that more money was put in than what is actually required. So let's say the total property value is 100 Rand, okay? And you invested 10 Rand. That means you technically have 10% invested into this, into this property. But now let's say in the end, it's overfunded. So there's 200 Rand put into this property we only need 100 so what they're going to do is they're going to say okay your 10 rand of this 200 rand is five percent so you're going to get five percent of the actual value of the company and that other excess which in this case will be um that other excess five percent that you, is kind of over invested that they will pay back to you so you will never just lose your money if it's overfunded you will your shares it's like diluted so you're getting a diluted share but so you kind of don't want people with a lot of cash to just over invest and dilute your shares or you can be the person that does that i mean either or but in the end of the day you're going to get a piece of the pie whether but it's going to be percentage wise to what your original investment was of the total original payment value of that property okay and then you'll see um over here, this is a blue logo at the moment. This is a white logo. So this ones have closed. They've been funded, uh, the, everything's closed. But in this one, the offer ends in 38 days. So that means that after 38 days, if this target funding has not be, been reached, they'll cancel the listing and they'll obviously pay everyone back. What they have done before is there has been like COVID and issues. So they do sometimes extend it, but don't always bank on that. And then this is just the main info down here that you want to have a look at but we'll discuss that in the next video as to what they actually mean or what you want to look at but yeah so let's say for instance we can go look at this new property so you can click on view the property so over here on the right you can click on view photos and it'll show you all the photos of this property type and it'll usually include like bathroom photos amenities photos all those wonderful things but yeah so then you can just have a look through um you can look through what the inside looks like, um, what, for instance, the security gate entrance looks like, all these things you can look at. Um, and that'll give you a good idea of what the property is. Here's like the address, little info, when the offer opened, when it closed. Um, down here, you'll get all the property details. So investment summary, that's normally they put a little video here of the, the property. Bowen a lot of times they have some good videos a lot of these things which we'll go through in the follow-up video i'm just trying to get you to understand and get comfortable with this platform it's really well laid out very easy to understand you can click on property details here you can see floor plans um, you can click on the financials and you can get straight financials of how these shares are valued most new listings their share values start at one rand only later on will change as to what that value is can look at the location and the frequently asked questions uh, at the top here you can also see the dividend calendar so this is very important so that you can keep track of when you're going to get money in on your investments so you can scroll down here here they say what has been paid what is and then obviously there's to be announced here uh, let's see if we can find today's the 30th of march so there hasn't been any updated announcements it's the same as a company going ex-dividend evidently so company goes ex dividend they announce a dividend and then it gets put on here and you get your dividend dividends are normally paid out quarterly that's what they said or what they're going to try for um yeah and i mean you can even rent one of these units for yourself so also discuss that in that other video so just go have a look at that and you can see pretty much what's cracking 
But yeah, so that is pretty much the crux of Easy Properties layout. Very simple to, to understand, very easy. And it gets you into property investing, which is amazing, okay? Makes it easy, makes it cheap, and not overly complicated. Um, but yeah, now that you've got to grips, you know how to attach Easy Pro Properties to your Easy Equities account. Um, yes, we'll look into the next video as to all the finer things. But thank you very much for watching.